السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ جماعت احمدیہ بلیز برنگس ٹو انادر ایکسائٹنگ ایپیسوڈ آف پوائنٹس ٹو پانڈر دس ویک دا ہیڈ آف دا ورلڈ وائڈ احمدیہ مسلم کمیونٹی حضرت خلیفۃ المسیح خامس مے اللہ اسٹرینگتھن ہز ہینڈ کنٹینیو ٹو نیریٹ سٹوریز ٹیکن فرام دا لائف آف حضرت ابو بکر مے اللہ بی پلیزڈ وتھ ہم وی اسٹارٹ ٹو ریز پروگرام اسپیکنگ اباؤٹ دا ریفیوج ٹیکن بائی حضرت ابو بکر مے اللہ بی پلیزڈ وتھ ہم اینڈ دا ہولی پروفٹ ہم سیلف May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Let's begin our show. His Holiness, may Allah strengthen his hand, said that as the disbeliever stood by the cave, Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, grew very worried that they would find the Holy Prophet. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. When the Holy Prophet saw his worry, he reassured him, Grieve not, for Allah is with us. As the trackers stood at the mouth of the cave, They said that the Holy Prophet could not have gone past that certain point and that they should look inside the cave. However, one of the leaders spoke up and said that the web and the tree that were at the mouth of the cave seemed to have been there since before the time of the Holy Prophet. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. So how could they be inside? Thus they decided not to look inside the cave and left. After the constant failure that the Meccan leaders were facing, they decided to put a bounty, a reward, for whoever found the Holy Prophet. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. His Holiness, may Allah strengthen his hands, said that the Meccans were unsuccessful in their search for the Holy Prophet. May the peace and blessings be upon him. As people began to give up in the search for the Holy Prophet, The Meccan leaders announced a bounty of a hundred camels for the Holy Prophet to be brought to them, dead or alive. For today's final point, we look at the prayers and the guidance given to us to all the Ahmadis around the world as we begin the new year. Let's take a look. His Holiness said that the new year is beginning tomorrow. He prayed that may God make this new year blessed for the community. and its members. May the community be kept safe from all evils. And may all the plots against the community be foiled. May we be among those who witness the fulfillment of the promise made by God to the promised Messiah. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. His Holiness, may Allah strengthen his hand, said that we should enter into the new year with prayers and guided the community to recite the following prayers. Our Lord, let not our hearts become perverse after Thou hast guided us and bestow on us mercy from Thyself. Surely, Thou alone art the bestower. Our Lord, forgive us our errors and our excesses in our conduct. and make firm our steps, and help us against the disbelieving people. May Allah accept all of the prayers of our beloved Imam, and may we derive full benefit from the Friday sermon, as this is just a glimpse. We appreciate you joining our show for Points to Ponder. From the team of Points to Ponder, Happy New Year's to all of you. السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ